All right, that is spherical coordinates. But what happens in higher dimensions? Wait, don't tell me there's weird, crazy kinds of spherical coordinates in n-dimensional space, right? Right. But it's not that weird. So, for example, the radial coordinate is exactly what you think it is. It's rho, it's the distance to the origin, and it goes from zero to infinity. But there's more. There's all the angular stuff that is complementary to this. This gives something called the solid angle form, and it is denoted d omega n in n dimensional space. So if you try to visualize what is happening, then d omega n is telling you something about um, surface area on a unit sphere, so that the surface area element at radius rho is going to be rho to the n minus 1 d omega n. When you multiply that by d rho, then that gives you the volume form in spherical coordinates in n-dimensional space. dvn is rho to the n minus 1, d rho, d omega n. Now this d omega n is a little weird, but you can write it out in terms of angles. How many angles? Well, n minus 1 of them. So for example, in dimension 2, you just have d theta for d omega 2. In dimension 3, you have d phi and d theta, but that solid angle form, d omega 3, is sine phi, d phi, d theta. In general, if you need more higher dimensions, you could look that up. Um, we don't really need it, but maybe a little bit later, we'll come back to this.